Hello and welcome back to another video on Quartz Components. So this is gonna be a really short demo on how you can make a Bluetooth speaker by yourself. So what I'll be using here is a Bluetooth speaker kit that is available on the Quartz Components website. So what the kit comprises of is a 3 watt speaker and a Bluetooth amplifier module that will be the main functioning components of our Bluetooth speaker project. And to give power to the speaker we have used a 3.7 volt battery and that is all for the components so let's jump into the connections as you can see the module is currently in working state so i'll just redo the connections for you so i've disconnected the speaker and now the battery so as you can see this is the speaker terminal and this is the battery terminal and once you flip the board you can see b negative and b positive marked right here so it doesn't have any positive or negative or right or left for the speaker since it is a mono audio module and not a stereo audio so you don't have to worry too much about connecting the speaker in the right polarity because there is no right polarity so just be careful when you're connecting the battery because if you connect the battery in the wrong polarity it might damage the circuit and the module may not work properly so i'll be connecting it now so i've given power and as you can see it has turned on so i'll just now be connecting the speaker but before that the speaker right here you just have to solder these two wires in this manner and this a wire will be supplied along with the kit so you don't have to worry about any of that so i'll just be connecting it now to the module as i said earlier you don't have to worry about the polarity so now it's connected and uh, let's just connect it to the bluetooth mode and i have turned on my bluetooth here and as you can see there is 009.9 and this will be the device name uh, for the module and once you are connected to it just let's try the music quality for this so i'll just be playing some music and also demonstrating how the button right in the center works so the music is being played now and so this button right here allows you to perform various functions when the music is being played so if you push it once like this pauses the music if you push it again if you play the music when you go towards the right and hold it the volume gets increased and on the other hand if you go this way the volume gets decreased so if you want to switch to the next track just flick it like this so the track has now changed and if you want to go to the previous track flick it like this so it has returned to the previous track and this is how you can control your music using this simple button right here so this module provides five different modes for streaming your music. So these five modes are a Bluetooth mode, FM mode, auxiliary mode, pen drive mode, and SD card mode. So this button right here allows you to switch between three modes. That is the Bluetooth mode, auxiliary, and FM mode. And to play music using the SD card mode and the pen drive mode, you just have to insert the SD card or the pen drive and it will automatically switch to them. One thing that you have to keep in mind if you're playing music using the SD card or a pen drive is that the audio files that you'll be using must be in MP3 format to be played or otherwise they will not be scanned properly and might not be played. So that's one thing done and uh, let's see how we can switch between the modes. So currently it's in the Bluetooth mode and we'll see how you can switch between the modes. So just you have to press this button and hold it for a second and it will switch the mode. Let's see. So it's now in FM mode and it will start scanning for the channels and let's switch to auxiliary mode. Similar process for the auxiliary mode. So now it's in aux mode and you can use an aux cable to, to connect it with your mobile device or any other device to play music and then if you press it again. Okay, so we have returned again to the Bluetooth mode and that's the default mode of the module when you power it on it will automatically be in the Bluetooth mode. So that's it for the Bluetooth speaker module and these are the only three components that you will be requiring to make a simple Bluetooth speaker that you can carry everywhere you want. So that's it and all these components are available on the Quartz Components website and if you are confused about the connections, you can also check out the blog that is in the description to get a better idea of how the connections work and how the module actually works. So yeah, 
don't forget to check it out to learn the basics and the concepts of this speaker and that's it for the video hope you have fun building this and share this video with your tech buddies subscribe to quartz components and thanks for watching we will be seeing you in the next one